Sookie. Dad is going to be late from work today. So you know what that means? We have to feed up all by ourselves. Yes, ma'am. Let's get to it. Hey, y'all. I just got a message from Lester saying that he's going to be late. So fortunately, I was done with my calls for the day and can get this party started. All right, barn cats are first. I'll be right back around for y'all. I gotta do the bigs first. Don't worry, ladies. You know that if we feed you first that the littles are gonna eat it all. So you have to be second, I'm sorry. Yeah, you too, Cornelio. Kitty, I put your food out. Dinner's ready. <laughs> Nate, call them all. Tell them it's time for dinner. I'll be right back, y'all. All right, keys to feeding those two. The spanky stick. You cannot go in the pasture at feed time without the spanky stick. And a bucket full of food. Let's go. I'm coming for ya. Back it up there, kids. Back up. So some good news is that it's beautiful weather, which means all the bigs are all the way in the back and I have to go let them out. But the good news about that is that I will not get trampled on while I fill up all of these feed troughs. Now, the two mom and donkeys and babies are on the backside of Texas pasture, so they have access to here, but they just aren't coming up yet because I haven't called them yet. So I expect them to stroll up soon once they start hearing this feed pour, and then I'll go let the rest of the bigs in. They will come up here like a full-blown stampede. So some nights, I'm a little bit before Paw Paw feeds his goats and they know that I'm over here pouring feed and they're jealous <laughs> and they yell at me. It's true. All right, let's go let the bigs in. I'm gonna set this phone down and hopefully capture their miniature stampede. <laughs> Guess we'll see. Here comes the rest of the gang. Come on, lovelies. Two by two. Hi, Ivy. Hi, Ivan. I'm Jean. Beverly. Where's Dan? Where'd you leave him? Come on, Dan. Let's go. Dinner's waiting for you. Y'all go ahead and grab a plate. Hi, babies. Go eat, babies. Hey, Trudy, are you hungry, baby? Are you ready to eat, love? Yes, Mom. Quit talking about it and videoing it. Let's go. I would just like to point out that uh, Lester's feed room is a little bit crazy. <laughs> okay, it's not really his fault. It is at least fault because he threw the packages in here. And I have to say, we are extremely blessed that you all have sent so much food. Next up is you, Goldie. Goldie likes a little of that. And her most favorite is a little handful of corn mix in it. There you go, baby. Does it look delicious? It's not what you ordered today, or you're just camera shy. <sighs> I love you, baby. Yes. Ladies and 
gentlemen. Hey, El Carpintero. A little bit for y'all for right now. Okay. Petunia, Mama, you're next. Orlando, you're about to go back in. Here you go, love. Oh, yes, yummy. Coming in. Next up is the Littles. And you would think, oh, it's Jamie, they're Littles. They have short legs, it'll be fine. It is two five gallon buckets of feed, y'all. And you can only carry one at a time. And there's like 20 animals out there ramming your kneecaps, trying to beat each other to it. There's no easy way. It's a madhouse. Why are you eating? I just poured you food. You chased me with both buckets all the way across. Everyone else is eating, playing nice. Right, Annie. So I know that it looks a little disastrous, but this is alfalfa hay, and this is gonna go to Dennis. So because it's winter time and because his pasture has no green left, he gets about a block of this twice a day. Somebody found these hay, the green hay. Uh-oh. Hi, Pearl. You wish you're eating what your mama was eating right now? I can make that happen for you, baby. Don't be sassy and mean and taunt her, licking your lips and chewing slow like that. I'm sorry, Pearl. Let me get you some. That was ridiculously rude. Let her have some. I just brought that for her and he ran up here like a meanie. Pearl, I'm so sorry. Come back. Hi, baby girl. Yes, you have that. Okay. Yes. The delicious. Is it all you hope for? Oh, you're so pretty. mean horses and your mean mother so sorry love let me get you something you're late everybody else is almost done eating out here but you're late y'all know that when you're late for dinner everybody wants to come see what you've got because they're bored of what they got you shouldn't do that i'll meet you around front hank you've been a good helper buddy Watched over Goldie. He made sure Tex was nice to mom. It's almost your turn to eat, Cookie. You did a really good job, baby. Are you ready to eat now? Sookie. Sook. Are you ready to eat now? You too, Ritzy? Let's go. Bye.